D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can uh, see the articles that I read. I'm going to be reading to you to bring you this video. And if you want to go and read them yourself, you can. There's always a, a couple of things that I just either skip over or whatnot. And then, you know, whatever, some links and stuff like that. And maybe you want to share the video. I don't know. Um, but I do want to say that before I get started, that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So now that I've gotten that business out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? It's Halle Berry teams up with Crawl Director for a horror thriller, Motherland, which I just want to say real quick, I love Halle Berry, so I will uh, probably watch anything that she's in. She's great, and she's so hot. Not the best in this picture that I'm looking at right now, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, so it says Oscar-winning actress Halle Berry and acclaimed horror filmmaker uh, Alexandri uh, Aja are teaming up for the supernatural thriller Motherland at Lionsgate. And who doesn't love a supernatural thriller? Am I right? So it says Halle Berry is set to headline the thriller film Motherland from director Alexandre uh, Aja, Crawl, and The Hills Have Eyes. Personally, uh, those two movies, they're not my favorite, but it's like, eh, whatever. Lionsgate will launch sales for Motherland at the upcoming Cannes film market. The film is described as a timely and highly concept thriller with a supernatural twist. The screenplay of Motherland is written by Kevin uh, McCollin and Ryan Graspy, uh, Mean Girls. I mean, Mean Dreams, man. Um, I've never seen that movie, Mean Dreams, uh, but uh, I mean... Maybe I'll check it out to, to bone up for this movie. So it says, the plot synopsis for this film, uh, and this is from Deadline, it says, Motherland will chart the story of a mother and her twin sons, ooh, that'll be interesting, I'm a twin, who have been tormented by uh, an evil spirit for years. When one of the boys questions whether the evil is real, the family's scared bond, sacred bond is broken and it becomes a fight for survival. Motherland has been in the making for a couple of years now, and Mark Romanenk, Never Let Me Go, uh, was previously attached as director. However, uh, French filmmaker uh, Alexandre Adra, Azja will now be taking over the reins for Romanek. Aja is best known for the horror films High Tension, which I personally didn't like, uh, Piranha 3D, which, you know, was fun, but, you know, whatever, Crawl, The Hills Have Eyes, and Netflix, Oxygen. Um, those, uh, I didn't see Oxygen, but Crawl and The Hills Have Eyes, I personally didn't care for that much. I didn't think they were god-awful, but I didn't care for High Tension, I think, is stupid. I hate that movie. But Piranha 3D, um, it's not good, but it's a fun time. Anyways. Um, it appears Aja will be busy with Motherland for some time. There is currently no word on the film's release date, but it will go on floors next year. Sean Levy, Dan Cohen, and Dan Le Levine will pro be producing Motherland for 21 Laps Entertainment and the studio behind the Night at the Museum series and Netflix's Stranger Things. Aja will also produce while Halle Berry will serve as an executive producer. Good for her. Like I said, I love Halle Berry, so all, all for her. Lionsgate has called Motherland an, eva uh, <clears throat> an elevated thriller, which seems to be a spin on the elevated horror genre made famous by Jordan Peele, Get Out, which is a good movie, um, and Robert, Robert Eggers, The Witch, um, which also I thought was a pretty good movie. Lionsgate production uh, president Ern uh, Westerman released a statement saying, we're so thrilled to be working again with Hallie and Alex. Hallie is a force on screen. She's the perfect person to convey the physiological terror of this mother trying to protect her family and who better than Alex to ratchet up the tension. Powerhouse producers 21 Lamps are going to deliver an ele elevated thriller that will keep audiences on edge of their seat. Edge, uh, yeah. 
While Mother Land uh, appears to be a generic ghost story on the surface, the synopsis raises the possibility of something much more sinister. Let's see what timely twists and turns the film offers. Um, another reason to get excited is Halle Berry's return to horror after 2003's Gothica, which I just have to say, that movie is so good, and Halle Berry is so good in that movie. Um, it's got Robert Downey Jr. in it. It's, that's a good movie. Like If you want to see a good horror movie, that's a good one. After a successful Hollywood career uh, spanning decades, Academy Award-winning actress Halle Berry is venturing into filmmaking. She made her directorial debut and starred in Netflix's mixed martial arts drama, Bruised. While the film received mixed reviews from critics, Berry's direction was praised and the film was a hit with the audiences. Mm. She was last seen in the box office disaster Moonfall. I saw that. It was god awful. I was like, man, can't believe they wasted so much time and money on this. <laughs> and we'll star another sci fi feature, The Mothership. I haven't heard about that. The film is part of Barry's overall deal with Netflix and is confirmed to come out this year. Uh, this year, B fans. Mm. Uh, B fans also loved her in John Wick Chapter 3, uh, Parabellum. I also loved her in that movie. She did a great job. I hope we see her again in, in John Wick. The, if we don't see her in the fourth one, maybe. Um, oh, hold on. Alongside Keanu Reeves, unfortunately, we won't be seeing Barry and her dogs uh, maul bad guys in John Wick 4. Bummer. I really liked her. She was great. She was a great addition. Um, maybe you know, John Wick 5. <laughs> However, she has teased the possibility of starring in a spinoff based on the character. I'd watch that. As for Barry's filmmaking feature, future, she has uh, signed to direct, she hasn't signed any uh, to direct any yet, but after the success of Bruised, it's only a matter of time before she we see her get behind the camera again, which I would watch that again. I, like I said, I love Halle Berry. That woman is, is she's so hot and she's so talented that I would definitely watch. I'll be, I'll watch this movie too. Who doesn't love a good horror movie? You know what I'm saying? Um, crazy people. I mean, I, I know some people don't like horror movies, but uh, I like horror movies. So, although I get so scared so fast. Okay. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about Halle Berry's, uh, you know, going to star in this new horror thriller motherland? I mean, you know, do you like these, these, uh, these more elevated, um, horror movies, these supernatural thrillers and everything, or do you wish or do you like your horror movies all like gritty and like, you know, like nonsensical, you know, um, you know, well, you know, with the gore and everything. Um, and how do you feel about Halle Berry? I mean, if you don't like Halle Berry, I don't know what's going on with you. She's great. I love her so much and she's such like a like a down-to-earth kind of person like she's not like somebody like that's like like one of those people that are just like oh my god she is so nice but I think that she is nice she's just like a real person she's like real talk you know and everything all right you guys well that's all I got for you guys tell me what you guys think about this go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below if you like this video go and hit that like button you know I won't mind if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it I will see you guys next week you guys have a good week bye